Okay, in this problem, uh, we're going to find the area of the surface generated by revolving x equals e to the y plus e to the negative y over 2 um, limits 0 to ln of 6 about the y-axis. Okay, so here is your surface area formula when you have a, a x equals function, which would be a g of y function. Um, here's your x, which is this function, and then x prime, or g of y prime. Okay, I've got your g of y here, which is the same thing as x, it's going to go there, and your g prime of y, this is just the derivative, um, forget the, the two on bottom, just derivative of e to the y is e to the y, derivative of e to the negative y is negative e to the y, uh, the two is constant so it stays down there, okay, so let's put it in, so our surface area would be the integral from 0 to ln of 6 of 2 pi e to the y plus e to the negative y over 2. Of course, that would cancel right there. And then we have 1 plus e to the y minus e to the negative y over 2 squared dy. Oops. dy, not dx. Okay, so... The course of twos here would cancel. Um, going to square this one out in the next step. I'm also going to, um, well, well, we'll do that in another step. So I'll square that one out. Zero to ln of six pi times e to the y plus e to the negative y square root of one plus, okay, so square the top, e to the y times e to the y is e to the two y. Um, the middle two terms would be these two times each other. So when you add the exponents there, y and negative y would be zero. So it's be minus e to the zero, minus e to the zero, and then this one would be plus e to the negative two y, all over four. Okay. If you create a common denominator here, see this one over here with this four, the common denominator would be a four. So I could just say, okay, that's a four, go ahead and put it in there, just to save us a little step there. Okay, so write it again. And let's combine some things on the inside there. And let's factor out this 4 here in the denominator. Uh, if, you, if you square root the 4, it becomes a 2. So I can go ahead and put a 2 here. It came from that 4 that got square rooted out. So I'm going to put the 2 there. Okay. And on the inside, these are negative 1 and negative 1. And 4 minus 1 minus 1 would be 2. So you get e to the 2y plus 2, plus e to the negative 2y, dy. Now you want to factor this. And this sometimes is a little difficult to, to factor until you do enough of these that you recognize it. But this is going to factor into a perfect square. Uh, underneath here, this is going to factor into e to the y uh, plus e to the negative y. Sorry, e to the negative y. Okay, now notice if you square this out, e to the y times e to the y is e to the 2y. And e to the negative y times e to the negative y is negative e to the negative 2y. And the two middle terms, you multiply this times this. Um, sorry, there should be no y there. That's just a 2, not a 2y. Um, so the middle terms, e to the y times e to the negative y would be e to the 0. And you get 2 e to the zeros. e to the 0 would be equal to 2 because that's 1 plus 1. Okay, so this is what it is going to factor into is this, e to the y plus e to the negative y squared. And when you square root that, it's going to cancel. So you get 0 to ln of 6, pi over 2, e to the y plus e to the negative y times e to the y plus e to the negative y. Again, this is what the inside factored into. It was squared. So when you square rooted this square, it canceled out to just that. Okay, notice this is the same thing. So it's it's squared, but I'm going to go ahead and, and, and uh, distribute that out. So 
let's put the power two out here. So you get e to the two y, and then your two middle terms, like we said earlier, it's going to be a plus two plus e to the negative two y. That's basically what we had up here. Okay. Now I'm going to integrate. Okay, so when we integrate, we get e to the 2y over 2 plus 2y minus e to the 2y over 2, or negative 2y over 2. The minus comes from the fact that this was negative. Okay, so there's the negative 2. Okay, all integrated from 0 to ln of 6. Okay, so now just plug in our limits here. We're about done. Here's your pi over 2 out front. Okay, you got e to the 2 ln 6 over 2 plus 2 ln 6 minus e to the negative 2 ln 6 over 2. Okay, that's the first, that's the ln 6. Okay, if you plug in the 0, you'll get e to the 0 over 2 plus 2 times 0 minus e to the 0 over 2. Notice the 0 there, and this one cancels that one, so basically this whole thing is gone. And you're just looking at the first parentheses. Okay, so this first parentheses is what we need to deal with. Okay, bring that up, and, and uh, that's ln of 36. That's a rule of logarithms, hopefully you remember that. Bring it up to the exponent, 6 squared is 36, and the ln will cancel with the e. So that will be 36 over 2. And this one, nothing, the e's doesn't cancel, but the 2 is going to come up. So it will be ln 36. And on this one, a little trickier, it's going to be minus. This is a negative exponent, so when we bring it up, it's going to be to the negative 2. Okay, so that's going to end up being uh, minus 1 over 36. The, the e and the ln are still going to cancel. But the fact that it's a negative exponent, when this becomes, I'll write that over here, 6 to the negative 2 is actually 1 over positive 36. Okay, so that's where that comes from. And it's still over a 2. Okay, so we've got a little arithmetic here. If you do that arithmetic, uh, you will get, um, let's see, pi over 2. I believe these two combined would give you 1295 over 72 and we get ln of 36 that's a good enough answer right there uh, if you want to take it one step further you could distribute the 2 out here if you did distribute the 2 keep the pi out front but if you did distribute the 2 you get 1295 over 144 plus ln 6 now the ln 6 comes from if you brought a half in here the half would be in front of the ln 36. You bring a half up to the 36. Anything to the half power is actually a square root. So when you distribute the half here and bring it up here to the exponent, it would be a square root of 36, which is where the 6 is coming from. Okay, and that's it.